Hi, I'm Jean Fiorini, and thanks for being here at the Tarot Tips. Today I'm going to share something that was shared with me by a tarot colleague. Uh, it's a very creative way to uh, share what we like about the tarot, maybe a little bit what uh, startles us or puts us off uh, by the tarot. Uh, the videos, uh, and you're all in, everyone's invited to participate. There's a hashtag that goes along with uh, the series called hashtag hug deck, H-U-G-D-E-C-K. And the idea is to talk a little bit about uh, your current favorite tarot deck, why you like it, um, and a little exercise that goes along with that. And also to share a deck that maybe is a little intimidating for you, um, something that uh, maybe feels a little intense for you, a particular tarot deck. I think um, the creator calls that the Kick Tush deck. <laughs> Sounds very, very esoteric. So anyway, the creator of this idea is Eleron Avni. Um, you might want to check out what he does kind of for his day job, which is as a professional musician. Uh, he's a college professor of music, but also um, the inventor of shuffleconcert.com. I won't go on and on and about it, but check out uh, the website. It's really... Um, creativity at its uh, maximum there. So shuffleconcert.com. Again, thanks Eleron for uh, this fun idea and a nice way for people to connect around the tarot. So my hug deck, hashtag hug deck, uh, that I'm going to pick currently is Cat Black's Golden Tarot. Probably many people have this deck. I think it's been around for, oh, 14 years maybe or so. I only picked one up a couple of years ago. So um, what do I like about it? Why is it my favorite? Um, first of all, I have a lot of respect for the work that goes into create any tarot deck, let alone a deck like this, which from what I understand was years in the making, as is true for pretty much all tarot decks. But she collaged from medieval and early Renaissance paintings uh, the images on each card. Uh, I was an art history major in college, and it was the first uh, place that I really became enamored with the idea of how symbols can communicate meaning, how symbols can communicate feeling. Um, how the artist's work is about helping us tap into inner or unconscious emotions, motivations, and awarenesses. So I really uh, love and appreciate the work that went into this. I like the tone of it. You can see it's kind of um, earthy tones. It is kind of, oh, that one's upside down, but that's all right. Uh, it is very early Renaissance in its look. And the, the backs are just gorgeous, too. They have a nice kind of gilded edge to them. I like how they feel. I like how they look. I like the images. They're somewhat like Rider Waite. You know, they're not a radically different tarot deck. But also, she has her own interpretations and vision about what each card means. So I do really appreciate that. So I'll uh, play along with the game here. So the the hashtag hug deck has four questions number one what is your current favorite deck cat blacks golden tarot why is it your favorite i think i've talked about that pick a card and share the message so i'm going to pick one card at random here from the cat black tarot and see what we get nine of wands persevere keep going we know you're tired the end may not be in sight, but you're almost having accomplished your goals. I could think of that personally um, being relevant. I could think of that as um, I'm making this video in the end of January of 2018. I think a lot of people feel like they have been, like we have been slogging in the mud here for a while. So the Nine of Wands, keep going. I'm looking at the card to see if I see anything that feels relevant. Yes, the castle is right there. 
Are, are we willing enough to make the extra effort to get to the castle, whatever your castle is? So that's interesting. Okay, the fourth question is, what's your kick in the tush deck? What's, what's, the, what's the deck that challenges you? And for me, it's uh, John and Kathleen Matthews' Arthurian Tarot. Um, there's a lot about that, this tarot deck that I really like. Um, I've been to England a few times and I, and I do appreciate the Celtic feel and, and that some of these images are literally actual drawings of places that can be visited in England. Uh, but, but there's a lot about the imagery that, um, doesn't really do a lot for me. That would be one example. Let's see, Spear 5, which is Wands, looks like that. Grail 6, Six of Cups, looks like that. Okay, I guess I like a little bit more description in my pictures. However, um, two things. First of all, the um, process, the learning process, the quest for the grail uh, lesson plan that's in this book is astounding. Um, you work through the elements. You, uh, ideally, you do it in, in harmony and in synchrony with the seasons. Um, it's a very excellent way if you've got the motivation to do some good personal work. So there's that. Um, when I uh, first was exposed to it, I thought, well, let me try it. So I, I, when I get a new deck, I always like to ask, what might this deck have to communicate to me? Why do I have this tarot deck? Why has it come to me? Why did I choose it? That sort of thing. Um, and oh, let me just preface it with a personal thing about... Um, I had recently become aware that I have a, a perception that something's always going to go bad. <laughs> and I said to a friend recently, I just feel like the Saxons are about to come and burn my village down. So I open up this Arthurian tarot. I ask what might this deck, how might this deck help me? What might this deck have to convey to me? And the one card I pick from the deck shows a Saxon village being burnt down. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> so uh, I do find this deck to be very kicktush, to be very, the, the, what, however, whatever the vibe around it, it, it for me gets right to the point. I don't even go near it unless I want the straight story. So, um, thanks, Elrond, for sharing um, this way to, to share the tarot. Uh, I would also like to point out that um, there's a, a new hashtag or another hashtag, hashtag music and cards, all written out, all one word, um, that I hope to present a video on in the next, you know, month or so. So that's it here from the Tarot Palace in South Portland, Maine. Thanks for being here. See you next time.